Hey friend, it's Shandy, and I'm here today to show you an absolutely beautiful cow pattern called Prairie Ghost. Monica Wesley designed this gorgeous cow pattern for you, and we were just talking the other day about how amazing animals are. She said she was driving to the grocery store the other day, and there was an entire herd of prairie ghosts that were grazing on the greens at the local golf course. Prairie ghosts are actually pronghorn antelopes. They're also called goatalopes and speed goats. And Monica was saying in Wyoming, where she lives, they are actually so numerous that they outnumber the people who live there. Monica decided to take inspiration from the unique curving antlers of the prairie ghosts and mimic that shape in this center cable panel of this cowl. And you can see it really looks like little antlers. This design features a 12 row repeating sequence and has the gorgeous cable panel in the middle, as well as this beautiful lace on each side of the cable and this little braid panel as well. The neat thing about this cowl is you actually start with a provisional cast on. So you work back and forth flat rather than in the round as is typical for most cow pattern. The pattern, which includes both written instructions as well as charts for you, does give different options and you can make a little short version if you prefer or a longer one. So it's totally up to you whatever size cowl you would like to create. I really also love the yarn that we chose to use for this pattern. It is our Lester Worsted, which has a little bit of a and it creates nice plump stitches so the cables and the different braiding panels just really pop out. You can download this beautiful pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there sign up for email updates and you'll get exclusive coupons to the shop as well as free patterns. We will link to the pattern as well as the yarn in the description box for you. Today I am going to be demonstrating how to work a provisional cast on which is used in this pattern. This is an excellent technique to have in your knitting repertoire because it actually allows you to cast on stitches and those stitches are live. So once you've worked whatever your project is, you can come back and knit off of those live stitches. Or in the case of this pattern, we're gonna actually seam those live stitches with the final stitches we work using Kitchener Stitch. Let me show you how supremely simple a provisional cast on is. To work a provisional cast on, you are gonna need a crochet hook and you're going, going to go ahead and start with some scrap yarn. Work a slip knot and pop that onto your hook. Then grab your knitting needle. I'm going to hold the hook in my right hand and the knitting needle in my left hand. Plop the needle on top of the yarn and then just reach over, grab that yarn, and you've just cast on one stitch. To continue casting on stitches, move the yarn behind the needle Boop, you just cast on another stitch. Move the yarn behind the needle, reach across with your crochet hook, and you continue on casting on as many stitches as the pattern calls for. I'll just work a few more. Once you've got as many stitches as the pattern calls for, I like to just go ahead and just chain a few and then you can give that yarn a snip. Once you've done that, go ahead and pull up a little loop, and this is your little provisional cast on. Next, you're gonna pick up your working yarn, and you're gonna go ahead and work the next row according to whatever the pattern states. I'm gonna purl across this row. And then once you've worked at least several rows, you'll be able to go ahead and unravel that provisional cast on and you can see, let me go ahead and knit this row, you can see how the stitches are live and you are able to work them according to the pattern instructions. So what you wanna do once you've got your actual yarn worked is jump back to that scrap yarn and undo your little end there that you pulled through. 
and you'll be good to go to start undoing those chains and you can see bloop, there's a live stitch so you want to pop that onto your needles I'll just go ahead and show you bloop, 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 bloop. so you actually have live stitches here that you would be able to work this direction and you have already worked your stitches that direction and that's it a very simple technique and if you do need a refresher on how to work the kitchener stitch we have a video for that so we will link below to that for you take care friend thank you so much for being here with me today i really appreciate it remember to find inspiration and creativity all around you whether it's the horns of our prairie ghost or a flower or the sky or whatever it may be beauty is always there if we look for it have a wonderful day and i will see you next week with another new exciting pattern bye bye for now I don't know why I kept going like this. Bye-bye for now. Ta-ta. Mwah. Mwah.